My name is uh, Kurt Dion, and I've been involved with Roadside America since uh, 2012. I've been to over 500 uh, presidential attractions on the Roadside Presidents app that RoadsideAmerica.com has. So when I was uh, seven years old, my mother uh, bought me a book, uh, So You Want to Be President. Uh, my father had watched a program on C-SPAN where presidential historian Richard Norton Smith and C-SPAN uh, founder and CEO Brian Lamb had written a book, uh, Who's Buried in Grant's Tomb, about visiting the different presidential grave sites. And my father told me about it. And then I looked up at him and I asked, can we do that? And he said, what? And I said, visit every presidential uh, burial site. And that is how we spent a ton of money and time going to presidential sites across the country. I might not have had the chance to meet everybody, like shake hands with uh, President Lincoln or uh, go on a walk with President uh, Truman, but if you're in the area where they are buried, you know, in the nine to five hour range, you can go see them anytime. So they were real people, and even though our lives didn't line up at the exact same time, I can go meet up with them while they're dead. Some people might think that visiting grave sites is uh, creepy, kooky, uh, macabre. It can be if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to. Uh, I think that everybody can get their own experience uh, out of visiting uh, a cemetery or a grave site. Maybe you want the more creepy, you know, ghastly, spooky experience. Or maybe you just want to go uh, have a nice stroll in uh, what's essentially a, a nice park. Uh, you want to uh, learn some history, you want to study some different uh, architecture uh, styles or gravestone uh, carving styles. Uh, maybe some cemeteries will allow you to take your dog or might have a uh, yoga night or a movie night. Some prohibit pictures, some uh, 4K races uh, that start in there. So each one you're going to have uh, a different experience and I don't think visiting a cemetery has to be just one set thing for everybody. They're in different places. It's not just that you go to Arlington National Cemetery and there's every single uh, deceased president right there. It, it, it makes you earn it. You have to you have to work for it to go to uh, the presidents. I believe right now they are buried in 18 U.S. states and uh, Washington, uh, D.C. But each one has its own flavor, a different architectural style. Uh, some are part of a larger historic site interpretation, such as at Washington's tomb at Mount Vernon, or uh, Thomas Jefferson's grave at uh, Monticello. And then some are just kind of by the road and you wouldn't really know otherwise, uh, other than this maybe a small little sign. When you go to a presidential site of any kind, it's possible that you'll run into a great many people there. It's possible that you'll be the only person within about three square miles of where you are. If you're going to the gravesite of President Martin Van Buren in Kinderhook, New York, um, you could probably dig up his uh, grave and nobody would find out for uh, a few days. So you never truly know exactly what you're going to find at a place or who because you could run into another uh, quirky uh, traveler like yourself so you never quite know uh, one that was particularly satisfying for me was the James A. Garfield Memorial in Cleveland, Ohio it's 180 feet tall uh, made primarily of uh, sandstone it's got gargoyles, uh, stained glass windows, mosaics, a large Italian statue, and it's the only uh, presidential gravesite where the president is not either in the ground, in a sarcophagus, or in a vault in the wall. 
uh, James Garfield's uh, casket is just laid out right there on a, on a beer or a catafalque, a little table there. Uh, my last one was Lyndon Baines Johnson in Stonewall, Texas. And that one we wanted to get a little bit closer. And I was uh, chased out by a, a gentleman on a lawnmower. If you're looking to go to a presidential site and don't really want to encounter much of a crowd, you could go to the gravesite of President James Buchanan. That's in Lancaster, uh, Pennsylvania. There's a lot of these forgotten presidents of uh, the time. You have uh, Grover Cleveland, who uh, the Grover Cleveland Art Appreciation Society has dubbed uh, the most average president. So you won't necessarily encounter a lot of people at the grave of the most average president. The, the president was one of the first few presidents that led the country, sadly, into the Civil War. Having been interested in presidents since I was seven years old, that didn't mean that my visits to presidential sites was going to end just because I uh, finished up my uh, gravesite quest. I'm still very interested in learning about uh, U.S. history, the presidents in particular, and uh, helping other people find their passion uh, for history and realizing that history is among us and that these were real people.